Tonight we head to Chicago's North Shore, an area where you wouldn't think homelessness is a problem, but it is. You're about to meet a suburban township supervisor who's gone above and beyond what her job requires to create a place where people who are homeless can find rest, a meal, and dignity. Bonnie Khan Agnesati is one of Chicago's hidden gems. We've got our lockers. You can see people have got their things in bins. Um, little toiletry bags that we've had volunteers donate. And then we have another shower in here. This is one of those things people might take for granted. Just the idea of being able to come somewhere to, right. to take a hot shower. Right. That's yeah. invaluable. We don't think about that. But Bonnie Khan Agnesati thinks about that kind of thing a lot. Hey, how are you doing? She's the impetus behind this day shelter for people who are homeless in Niles Township on Chicago's North Shore. I think people just do not realize that there is poverty here, but we have real poverty. Bonnie told me even she didn't realize so many people here were experiencing homelessness until one day about two years ago. A gentleman walked into our office. He had six garbage bags full of all of his belongings. You thought they were donations. And I thought that they were donations for our food pantry, but it was everything that he owned. And I realized really quickly that he didn't have a space where he could just feel like a human being and get his body clean and wash his clothes and sit down and get a sandwich and rest and immediately started thinking, what can we do? What she did was head here to talk with the pastor at St. Paul Lutheran Church in downtown Skokie. And I thought, oh my gosh, St. Paul's has a parochial school that's just sitting there empty, that's not being used. They already have showers, they already have lockers, they have this community space, and we already have a partnership. That thought and a year's worth of planning resulted in this, a daytime respite center for people who are homeless, a place to feel dignity even when there's nothing else. There's a lot of pain that just comes with poverty, but one of the biggest one is the lack of choice. You don't have choices where you're gonna sleep, what you're gonna eat, how you're gonna be treated, where you can rest. And if you don't have these very simple things, it exacerbates everything else. The center serves mostly men and everyone is vetted to ensure safety and success. How does it make you feel to see the people you're helping here and interact with them. I feel um, a real kinship and love for them. You're an elected official. What made you so invested in this cause? I do have a calling to service. I'm gonna come and cook for you guys. I feel a real deep uh, desire to raise people up. The most important piece for me at this time is really helping people feel their humanity. Isn't that difficult? You know? And humanity means helping. Here, Fernando is teaching fellow guest Kane how to cook a chicken in the center's kitchen, which also needs help. How long does it take to cook a whole chicken in the toaster oven? I have never done that. He's using a toaster oven because the real oven doesn't work. And neither does this giant fridge. How much would it cost to fix? I think that we probably need a grant or a donation of about $5,000 to fix both the refrigerator and also this industrial oven. We're building the ship while we <laughs> sail the ship. Fernando says this ship is keeping him yeah. afloat. What would you do if you weren't here? If you didn't have this place, where would you be? Uh, right now, I will be drunk already, you know what I mean? And, you know, and outside in the streets, you know. This place keeps you clean? Keep you clean, keep you sober, keep me happy and learning things that I never experienced in my life. I do hear thank you a lot and it always uh, is very impactful. But even sometimes when you don't hear the words thank you, I'm still very gratified and grateful to do this work and just to be in the position where I can help. Honestly, that's reward enough for me. So the center can't offer nighttime services, but there is mental health assistance, even a chiropractor there during the day. And Bonnie's reach goes beyond Niles Township. This year, she helped get legislation passed to expand programs to help people struggling with poverty. If you have a hidden gem you'd like to share, send it to us, a person, a place, whatever it is. Go to CBSChicago.com and search hidden gems.